Hello everyone, welcome to another video by Tabs Life Science. Today, in this video, we are going to talk about the cutoff for prediction for CSIR UGC NET December 2022 and June 2023 combined cycle. So, as you all know that the CSIR UGC NET answer keys and the question papers have been released on their site today, if, uh, yesterday evening. Okay. So, if we proceed into the video, we can see that the if we analyze the difficulty levels, we can see that in the morning shift, what I we have received from the students, we can see that the morning shift was majorly easy to moderate, questions were a bit lengthy, part C was easy to moderate, part B was a bit tougher and part A was a moderate. But in case of the evening shift, students have told me that it was tough to moderate, part C was moderate to tough, part B was tough, part B was really tough and by analyzing the question paper we have found out that part B was a bit tougher and probably this has been one of the toughest part B uh, in the last 10 to 15 years of CSIR UGC net and uh, part A was again moderate and it was similar in nature with that of the morning shift. So, this part B of the evening shift may create a difference between the marks, a huge difference rather between the marks of the morning shift and the evening shift. We would rather look into the exact cutoffs and the exact percentile cutoffs, it will not vary too much with respect to what happened in the past uh, two years or the three last CSIR net, the December 2020 CSIR net. Uh, the, uh, then came the February 2022 CSIR net or the September 2022 CSIR net. The cutoffs in the percentile scale for the unreserved would be around 98.98 percentile. For the unreserved uh, EWS category, it would be 96.33. For OBC, it would be 96.12. For SC category, it would be 90.12. For ST it would be 85.21 and for PWS it would be 65.22. So now this is for the JRF. Now for the LS the unreserved category cutoff would almost be similar to what it was in the last year. It was probably 97.5 percentile. It would a bit there is a chance of a bit increase in it. That is it would be around 97.6 percentile. Uh, you are you are economically weaker section that is 95.1 the obc would be 95.3 and you might be wondering why i am telling that the obc cutoff will go higher than the ews because this is obc is the obc non creamy layer and the creamy layer of the obc have been included in this year for csir net under the ur ews category so we might expect that the ur ews category uh, might see a bit deep in the cutoff range for the OBC it would be 95.3 and for SC it is 88.2 for ST it is 83.1 and for PWD it is 62.3 so these are the cutoff range now as we look on to the morning shift cutoffs in percentages it would be much easier for you all to understand what exactly the cutoffs can for JRF it's a safe score if you are an unreserved general category student it's a safe score if you get it get something above 108 by analyzing the depth in depth by analyzing the paper we have found out that the cutoff would be around in between 108 to 112 the median value would lie in 110 it won't vary much with respect to last year last year the person who got 111.5 uh, was the person who got the last percentile marks that was the cutoff for the unreserved criteria that is 98.9 percentile and for ls the open category or general category cutoff would be around 101 to 108 so it i would suggest it would be a safer score if you are getting something above 104 it's a very safe score that you are getting something which is known as the lectureship for the morning uh, lectureship for the morning shift uh, morning shift if you are belonging to the morning shift. So this is about the morning shift. Now let us look on to the evening shift percentage. So as I have said that the evening shift paper was moderate to tough and due to the questions which were asked in part B that were really tough people have said many have said that 
majority of the people failed to attempt more than 15 questions and there have been many negative marking that they are getting over there so by analyzing that we can uh, expect that the unreserved category cutoff would be something in between 90 to 99 and this can be a record in case of csi and net that this might be the lowest ever possible cutoff which would be coming for csi or ugc net 2023 and uh, for the lecture achieve the open category cutoff is to lie between 85 percent to 90 percent all other percentages for the uh, other uh, categories that is the obc sc st pwd have been also mentioned over here and uh, here are the exact cutoff ranges that can be possible for grf in the evening shift if you are somewhere in between 90 to 99 better if you are getting a safer score above 91, 92 uh, you, are get, you are quite probable to get a JRF and if in case of LS if you are getting a score above probably 87, 88 you are quite you will be quite enough to get a LS over there okay and for the morning shift I have mentioned that if you are getting above 105 you are good to get a JRF and if you are getting above 102 or 100, and, uh, sorry, if you are getting above 105, you are good to get a LS. And if you are getting above 110, you are getting a good level of JR. So that's all. Thank you. Do subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends and family. And in the comment section, please do mention that what, according to you, might be the cutoff for CSI and UGC net June and December 2023 and 22 respectively. Thank you and bye-bye.